Yes, good morning. Well, I think when it comes to the Conservatives and the Prime Minister, things aren't looking particularly good. We've now had the Conservatives lagging behind in the polls for some months. We've actually had one poll this week with the Conservatives double digits, uh, with the Labour holding a double digit lead over the Conservatives. And when it comes to Boris Johnson personally, um, his approval rating is, is, is really fallen quite far. So he's about sort of minus 25, which means 25% more people say they think he's doing a bad job than think he's doing a good job. When we sort of de- even a little bit deeper than that, we sort of notice that hardly anybody now says that they trust him to tell the truth. Um, and increasingly, they don't even trust him to, to quote unquote, get things done. That was one of the areas where he was sort of seen as particularly strong. It's what won him the election because he could get Brexit done. And he's losing the reputation of somebody who can do that, which I think is going to be really difficult for him going forwards. Um, Going forwards today, he addresses the House. Uh, How he performs, Chris, how important will that be? Um, I think it will be important, but potentially less important than it would have been a couple of months ago, because I think, you know, despite the bad polling and despite the fact that his numbers haven't gone up a little bit, uh, haven't gone up among the general public, the chances of him being replaced as prime minister um, have actually gone down. And the reason for that is actually nothing to do with the prime minister's poll ratings, but probably to do with the poll ratings of the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak. He was seen as the obvious successor. Um, A year ago, he was the most popular politician uh, in the country. But all of the scandals over the past few weeks surrounding him have meant that his popularity has declined. He's now, if anything, slightly less popular than the prime minister. So there isn't an obvious replacement for Boris Johnson anymore. And I think that means that Conservative MPs are going to be slightly more nervous about replacing him. Chris, when we look at these local elections, um, they're not about Ukraine. Yet a lot of what the prime minister is about at the moment is Ukraine. Will he have to address that? I think I think the, the, the reason the Prime Minister is speaking about Ukraine is, yeah, we ask not just do you think the Prime Minister is doing a good or a bad job overall, but do you think he's doing a good or a bad job in all of these different policy areas? And in almost every policy area, people say that they think he's doing a bad job. Ukraine is the exception to that rule. More people think that he's done well and badly when it comes to that. So he's trying to emphasise that. Now, I don't think that that is going to be enough to rebuild his reputation. Um, And I don't think that's going to be enough uh, to get enough people to vote for him in the local elections. It's obviously the best card he's got at the moment, but I think he's going to need to rebuild his reputation and the Conservative Party's reputation on some of those other issues if he wants to sort of stand a chance at holding on to the top job and, and winning the next general election whenever it comes.